Actually, the fourth year, uh, we are at the fourth year and we are happy with the results where we are now with the fourth year of, with the fourth edition of IDC. So, more than 2,600 and something people, uh, so it's a nice crowd and we're happy with that, from 45 countries. Um, 150 startups on the Startup Alley from 25 countries. And of course, our main focus is Central and Eastern Europe and CS. And uh, I have to say that our Startup Alley is the biggest in the Central and Eastern Europe. So, which is also the fact which can be proud, proud of. Then, um, more than 70 outstanding, really outstanding speakers and lineup is so good and it's changing and it's uh, better and better from year to year. Uh, we're also proud of this and uh, more than 300 investors, angels, VC funds present on the conference. So it means that ideas meet money, meet real um, people, uh, can turn it into the projects and that is the actual aim of IDC. So to be the platform for internet entre entrepreneurship, the uh, region of Central and Eastern Europe and CAS. So you see how it's moving all around and people are moving and there is snow easy, it's great and all the three stages are uh, full. And the uh, tech stage which we launched just this year, tech stage we launched from this year because we really want that the business people from internet companies, internet startups, uh, meet with the technology people. And sometimes there is, they're not speaking the same language. And in order to fill that gap, so here we are with the IDC with the decision to introduce the new stage, tech stage uh, for the conference. So with these business people can talk on the same language, then start at least to understand and talk uh, to each other with the tech people. And moreover, it's a good to have the stage to give the stage um, uh, for such a prominent people from tech uh, community worldwide, global tech community, tech architects, tech evangelists, um, like CDOs from the leading global uh, companies. And that's what we are having here. This year we start and now we understand so where to grow, what to change and how to, how to improve and make it even more um, qualified, more better on the better level, the tech, tech stage, which we started just this year. So um, from previous years, th there was an experience that we have to bring some something more for the startups. And the idea to introduce one more thing for the startup, so-called startup toaster, uh, with the prominent investors, mentors from different world uh, and known um, accelerators, incubators, plus VCs, uh, it makes sense. So the people can, the startups can have a short pitches. They are really get grilled in a startup toaster by the questions which are not maybe nice, not comfortable, but real. I mean, they have to understand whether the idea is valid and whether it makes sense to continue. So that's, that, 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 that is designed for that. Um, because um, the, quality of the, the quality of the startups uh, this year uh, substantially improved. And that's what we see. And two thirds of them are from Ukraine, others from different other countries all over the Central and Eastern Europe. And this is also a good sign. Uh, we have more people from Central and Eastern Europe coming and there will be much more uh, next years because we start to promote um, uh, IDC for Central and Eastern Europe even uh, more active. And we would like to um, make the split like 50, 50, 60 to 40, something like that uh, in startups and also uh, in terms of participants. So from which countries they are coming. So that's what we wanna, wanna reach. So the startup stage, startup toaster, uh, tech stage, new thing this year, main stage still there and it's getting uh, bigger and uh, more attention and it's full. And next year we also try to make it bigger uh, so it can fill all those who do want to, to spend I mean, much more time there. It's like obvious uh, when the market in CS market is growing. And of course, uh, there are the same peculiarities uh, which other startups from other territories are facing. The only difference is that in our territories, of course, the startups sometimes they do not understand uh, the reason why the VCs are coming and would like to get a stake and they would like to give us a, a structured approach to how their regulations will be formulated in the frameworks of the startup. So this is the knowledge our young startups and entrepreneurs are learning. Uh, at IDC as well because it's important to understand that uh, everything we are doing in the startups and for the startups is just to create more value it's not just to uh, be at the total control of the enterprise and to reach a certain 
quantity of uh, net profit to be able to distribute it via the dividends. That's that's not the aim. Uh, that's not the main goal. The goal is to create the value, to increase the value of the company, and uh, to create, I mean, big thing. Now, that's what we are trying to uh, teach them here during the conference. So this is one challenge um, which our startups are facing. There are some others. I mean, tech talents, they are here. But there is not this entrepreneurial um, feeling uh, from many startups. They are just learning what does it mean to be entrepreneur, this responsibility, etc., etc. Et so that's another understanding we would like them to uh, keep developed. Uh, and that's we are working with this also. These are the major differences uh, from startups from the territory of CIS and CE comparing to those from Europe and the US. They just spend much more time learning all these uh, principles. And we are at the period uh, when we are just learning about all this. So. Interesting thing uh, that we would like to, like one more, one more time to stress that ideas really uh, turn into the project during the IDC. Was it like super uh, networking event? So you meet the people, you meet the like-minded people. Some ideas in the air turn to be the real projects. Get the financing, get the proper smart uh, expertise, etc. So here we are. For example, it's a good example with us is this Global Technology Foundation, which we started um, last year and it was announced on the last day of IDC 2012. Uh, as a joint project uh, by TA Venture, uh, Almas Capital, Runa Capital, and Bione Hill. So this is the grant fund, uh, and now it's already the second edition. Uh, happened yesterday when the three projects. So it's the second cohort of three projects all together. There are six. Uh, they got the grants of thirty thousand uh, US dollar uh, to start to bootstrap their idea to uh, reach a certain level to be able to start speaking with the VCs, and that's what we would like to support. And uh, we are really happy that it happened IDC last year in turn to a real thing uh, by, the, by the beginning of the IDC 2013. And moreover, it is really, really working. So every, every time we are getting more and more applications from the startups, it's hundreds of applications. Uh, and then out of these hundreds of applications, we are choosing those 10 which pitch at, which se at each session and to get uh, three finalists to get these grants. So this is one interesting project which is there on the way. Uh, all this is done to support the IT entrepreneurship, to support the tech projects from Ukraine, to let these entrepreneurs stay here, uh, to be more mature with their idea before they start speaking to the VCs. Because it's really, really challenging when you are still not mature and you start to speak to the VCs uh, being not mature. At least to have this 30,000. Sometimes it's really helpful to reach a certain proper level when you feel comfortable to start speaking to them. Um, regarding the Code Club, so it's really interesting in our like hard project of like IDC charity project or whatever you can uh, name it. It's um, something which happened to us like last year. We uh, got to know the Code Club UK. Uh, it's a volunteer organization, a volunteer uh, project. Uh, when the volunteers uh, uh, teach children 9, 11 years old after school, at after school classes once per week uh, to how to code. And uh, they use the Scratch program, uh, which is designed and uh, uh, done by Massachusetts uh, Technological Institute in a very interesting gaming format, uh, interesting for the children. So uh, the, this is really interesting seeing that the children are really screaming when they start to learn uh, scratch, learn to code. It saved their time. The children understand the internet, so-called internet language, and uh, they can sp spare a lot of time preparing their ref uh, works, uh, uh, finding um, in information everywhere in the open source. So it actually learned them how to speak with the uh, internet open source resources and that's uh, that's why we are so like fascinated with this idea to uh, spread it uh, in ukraine and uh, today we have already uh, seven cities subscribed there is one club um, which started to work already uh, they done already uh, two uh, sessions of lessons and we are proud of this and this um, uh, 
all these activities start to be viral on our website. There are a lot of volunteers from all over the Ukraine subscribing to the program. So those who do care uh, to bring like these volunteer movements of education of the children of 9-11 years old uh, to Ukraine. And by the way, Ukraine is one of the first who subscribed and introduced this program to Ukraine. So it, it fascinating results happened to us just within one one month, and uh, we can imagine what will happen. We just got, we started less than a month ago, uh, and uh, we were the first who translated, well, like half a year before all these materials into Ukrainian language. But we started less than a month ago with our website, and all these processes started. So this is our like proud this volunteer project for Ukraine. There are a lot of things in there already for the IDC 2014. It's usually so all together. So 2013 has not yet started, but we already have some ideas for the next year, of course. So uh, we are thinking about new topics, maybe introduce new topics uh, in parallel to those which we love, like e-commerce, like mobile applications, for example, like health. Uh, like um, alternative uh, energy could be, uh, like, um, uh, for example, women in the internet. So this is an activity, it's like a parallel activity which we'd like to introduce from the sec sec uh, next year at IDC, because there are a lot of women entrepreneurs in the Central and Eastern Europe, but they need much more help, much more help. Uh, there is much more um, understanding um, uh, in this business uh, for women in the uh, US than in Europe. And that's a knowledge you would like to bring to uh, Ukraine, Russia, CS, and Central and Eastern Europe. So we'd like to bring like like-minded women uh, which are running uh, internet companies, successful internet companies, also startups uh, with an interesting ideas to show that the business is there for the women and they can be really, I mean, uh, important players on the, on the internet market. This uh, panel and this uh, parallel activity could be also interesting for us. And again, the charity. So charity, uh, non-profit, this is another topic which we would like to uh, introduce to IDC for the next year. And then we have a lot of other interesting ideas, uh, uh, education, medical. Uh, so we have to sing it over and we have time to prepare it properly till the year 2014.